Hello everyone, Dragonfly here. Welcome to another Mission Editor uh, build in DCS world. And we're going to be adding on to the, the seed mission that we've built over the last three videos. I'll leave links to those uh, videos in the description to this one. Today, uh, there's a couple of new triggers I want to show you, or new functions. Uh, the first one is how to remove scenery from around your farm that you might not want. And the second one is how to uh, use your scenery on the F10 map, how to assign it as a target using the assign as function. And so the first thing we'll do is, is, is talk about the remove scenery trigger. And we're here at our far highway farp in the mission right now, and there are a few trees out there in the distance, pretty tall, that uh, make our operation a little more unsafe than we'd like, and we'd like to remove those. I'm going to give you a better look at it and also exp explain how you can manipulate your map a little bit for those who might not know how to use the map controls. I'm going to go to F10. And this is our... Um, FARP. This is one of the trees here that we want to remove. And then there's a couple big trees up here I'd also like to get rid of. But I'll show you a little better view of it and show you some more controls for your for, to move around the map. If I click on the chaparral here and hit F7, it'll bring me up to a view of that uh, ground unit. F7 is for ground units. And that's the tree that we want to get rid of that's beside of the uh, the road. But let's say I want to look around a little bit more. If you press Control F11, now you can use your arrow keys to move around the map. Okay, there you can see that tree. And you can see the, the few big trees there that we want to remove. Okay, so it's a real good way to move around the map, get a bird's eye view of your FARP if you want. Uh, just a uh, very, very great function that DCS allows us. So let me get out and get into the mission editor now. So we'll escape, we'll quit. We'll go into the mission editor, and again, this is our FARP. This is one of the trees here that we want to remove, and, and a few of these trees here we want to remove. So how we do that is we set down a trigger zone. So I'll go over to the trigger zone menu, create trigger zone, and I'm just going to set it right here in between the area that I want to use. Now, obviously, the radius is really big right now, so let's uh, move the radius down. And actually, that's probably going to work pretty good. Let me rename this uh, trigger zone trees. And I'm going to leave it as a circular zone, not, zone uh, 984 feet, and I'll make it green since it's trees. Okay, now I'm going to move it to encompass the trees that I want to remove. Now you can do this with scenery also, it's scenery and trees, I'm doing it with trees today. Um, okay, maybe just a little bit more. Let's try right there. Okay. Now I'm gonna go into my triggers, create a new trigger, and I'm just gonna call remove trees. No condition, but actually I'm going to do this at mission start. So I'll put that the type of trigger is a mission start trigger. You don't really have to, but I do. And I also move my mission start triggers up to the top because that's where they actually uh, trigger. You don't need a condition for this trigger. The action is called scenery remove I think scenery remove object zone okay so the action is scenery remove object zone 
the zone will be the tree zone, but you have a choice here on the object's mask, whether you want the trees only, objects only, or if you want all. And when I say objects, I mean like buildings, things like that, hangers, whatever you want to remove. That it, you know, won't let you move everything, but it'll make some things it'll move, remove. I'm only going to do trees, so we'll say trees only. Okay. I'm going to make this trigger green too, just uh, so well, maybe it'll show up a little bit better. Okay. So let's come out of that. We'll save it. And I'll go back into my mission and see if it worked. Okay, and this particular trigger is very buggy. If it doesn't work, sometimes you have to back completely out of DCS world in order to get it to uh, it work and then come in and restart the mission. So let's see. Which is exactly what I had to do in this case. But let's go to the F10 map. It's a little hard to see from here. Go back to our chaparral. And actually, you can see on the F10 map that tree's not there, and some of the trees aren't aren't here. But let's let's look in the uh, on the actual map. So we'll go to F7. No tree, and you can see off in the distance that a couple of those bigger trees are gone. So it'll make it much easier to take off from this highway farm. This one really wasn't too bad, but there are some times when you set a highway farm down that you you really need to remove some of those trees or buildings. Okay, so let's come out of this. Back into the mission editor. Now you can hide that uh, zone if you want, which I will. Your trees hidden. Okay, now the second thing I wanted to talk about on this uh, video is how to use the assign as function on the F10 map in order to uh, use your, the scenery buildings as targets. So we're going to come up here to Sanaki, and this is what I'm going to do is add a target objective into our mission and uh, show you from there. Let's just say that. Uh, and we'll build a mission around this. This particular hangar is going to have uh, some components in it that uh, the electronic components that were used to modify the SA2. That, so we need to take out this hangar. So, and I'm sure you've probably been moving around the map and uh, you got this assign as function come up when you accidentally hit the right uh, mouse key which is what, and uh, it's, it's, it's pretty easy to do, and I'll show you what it actually does. So I put that over the hanger, I hit the right mouse key, it says assign as. Now I'll left click on that, and it brings up a menu, and you, as you see it, put a trigger zone uh, outline around this particular hanger, or building, and this is the name of it that it uses. I'm going to change the name just to, oh, it's just called Building One. Okay. Instead of SCLAD new, I'm not sure what that is. Okay. And we can hide that, the uh, which hides the... Uh, trigger zone or you can extend it out a little bit if you want but this uh, building has now been assigned as a trigger zone so to use it as a target I'm going to come back into my triggers hit new and I'm just going to say building one destroyed as a label Now, 
for a condition, it'll the condition that we'll be using is map object is dead. Okay, map object is dead. And you can see it kind of comes up with the trigger zones. The one we want is the one that was called building one. When map object is dead, I'm going to have it set a flag. I'll use 550. And I'm going to have it just say a quick message here. target building destroyed okay and that's all you really need to know or need to do uh, to use a trigger zone to tell you when that building has been destroyed you actually don't even really need to use that trigger you can still destroy the building uh, whether you use that trigger or not but in my experience, these buildings are pretty tough. They, uh, they take about, uh, about 2,000 pounds of bombs to destroy them. So you either need uh, probably a couple Mark 83s, at least a minimum of two Mark 83s to destroy these buildings. There may be a way to make them uh, less beefy, but I don't know how to do that. Okay, so we'll go ahead and save this. And you see I accidentally hit a sign as there, so I'll hit escape. Okay, that was the meat of what I wanted to show you. Um, I am going to be fleshing out this uh, additional mission that I want to put in to uh, our scenario. And uh, I think what I'll do is stop here on this video and just do that in the next video. That basically will be just putting in triggers that you already know. And I'll show you my logic flow for how I'm going to make the mission work. So that's all there is for today. I um, hope uh, there was some helpful information in there. You guys take care, and we'll talk to you next time. Dragonfly out.